All right, y'all. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna actually put in the hard drive in one of these little General Dynamics GD8000 laptops, and it's pretty much the same for a lot of rugged laptops. I've got GTEx that go in the same went the same damn way. Um, now, if you're a Democratic Party member or you've ever voted for Democrats in any way, please, God, go watch another video. You're too stupid to be trusted with tools. Anyone who thinks that someone's racist just because they're white is fucking stupid. So, that being said, um, I've got the notebook out. I'm going to flip it over. I've already got my safety screws for the um, battery loose. battery comes out. Why I do that on notebooks is because, well, hey, uh, there's ones like these where you can accidentally bump the power button, you know, these little Chromebook crackers. They're fun to mess with, though, by the way. Um, so, I'm going to pop this sucker open. Boom. Now, the drive's already been removed from this one, a different drive. But these are always scraps from work I do, so you know, that's how I get them, that's the rules. The drives have to come out and get destroyed or go into other machines that belong to whoever it is I actually work for in the background. <laughs> Pretty sure half of y'all know. And the other half, well, hell, we'll let you figure it out and maybe even start a conspiracy theory or something. I don't know. Boom. Out we come, and uh, most of these trays, like with the um, GTEx, it's just to uh, grab the edge and flip it up. It's just a little clicky, cheapy cover. I miss the days of these Itronics, but there's always a little uh, connector in there, and it's just your SATA connector and power both. And what I generally do with these. I leave them attached because I am paranoid. And flip the tape back. Some guys will replace the tape. I'm not one of those guys. Yeah, actually I am in this case because it is a rugged notebook and even though I'm putting in a solid state drive, I better. This one does not have a drive heater. Yeah, maybe it did. It's got the connector for the drive heater, but we're not using mechanical drive, so that's not necessary. Alright. So that's done. Pop my little rubber sideies on. Pop my little drivey in. Make sure that my temp sensor is back flat, and that is a temperature sensor. Put that sucker on there. And all I got to do is slide that shit back in. It's a bit of a pain sometimes because I hate these little rubber things, but hey, they're necessary. They're one of those evils you have to tolerate. Actually, you know what? I should have done it that way. In fact, I'm going to. I don't want to mess up that cable. So I'm going to slide the drive in in this direction. And yeah, hey, you get to see it live. So when I goof, you get to see that too. <laughs> it's just how I am. I'm one of them high tech rednecks that doesn't mind showing us mistakes. Well, unless it's my ex-wife. I don't really like some of those videos she's got up of me. <laughs> 
enjoyed doing them though, strangely. upside down. And you know what? We're going to do it a yet a different one. I really don't like messing up these ribbon cables and that looks like a mess I'm fixing to make. That's got to go like that. It's got to go on the drive. like it goes around there. I don't have anything to protect it with. This one comes around here. Temperature sensor is still straight. Push it a little bit just for grins and giggles. And that connector is still straight. So now I'm going to go in. The whole thing. tempted to just bend that thing. Make sure that you don't get your wings caught in your cable. Be very gentle, be very careful, watch what you're doing all the way down because you got these other little edges in there. sure that you're not catching none of them little edges. If you're snagging them on anything, I generally stick my finger in there and flatten them down. It's been a long time since I've done one of these um, general dynamics. I love the old Itronics, the new, new general dynamics I'm not too fond of. Seems to be about the right position there. There's two little ears here that you have to catch. You'll see them right there. Catch them, pop them, make sure everything fits. Give it a little nudge back if you have to. Boom. Like I said, I'm going to put the tape back on because I am a little bit paranoid about this one. I do want it to last more than a minute. Um, okay, now I put my center screw back in. The hell did I just do with the screwdriver that I just had in my hand? Here's, I got one right here. Actually, no, I don't. There it is. Got the right one right here. And that is a tiny tip. I normally use precision screwdrivers for this, but I got this pain in the ass set laying here. So I got a tiny tip in here. shouldn't be doing that over the notebook when it's uncovered because that's a good way to have to dig one out from between a case and a motherboard. My hands don't work like they used to, so... Oh, well. Alright, I'm going to thumb it. Get a thread started with my thumb there. Just like that. Now 
now I'm going to finger it. And now I'm going to turn it with a screwdriver. Because me starting it with the screwdriver like I was still a young boy, doesn't work no more. Boom, I'm done. Now, pop that sucker in there. Boom. Is that the right way? No, this is the right way. No, I had it right the first time. Yeah, because that would never fit in there. I love that. They idiot proof this. Democrat proved it, same thing. Alright. Twist my little tabs there. Boom. And boom. And this one I do need a precision screwdriver for, so boom. The fat Phillips. Where is the fat Phillips? The fat Phillips is here. Put that sucker together. this off and that is how you change the hard drive. Next video is going to be on how to change the wireless in here. What the hell it says no tape. 